I am going to focus my comments on the economic health of my constituents this evening. For many months now, my constituents have been contacting me to express their fears and concerns about the end of the furlough and self-employed income support schemes. The Chancellor's announcement last week simply does not do enough to support those people whose jobs are at risk due to the pandemic. Dropping the government contribution from 80 per cent of wages to 22 per cent of wages in the transition from furlough to the job recovery scheme means that firms that could still be viable but are not yet able to resume business activity now face the awful choice of closure or mass redundancies. Madam Deputy Speaker, I think we have to ask ourselves at this moment in time if the UK Government has truly done everything that it can to avoid mass redundancies due to the coronavirus pandemic. Given past history and the experience of the 1980s, I believe that this Tory Government will again fail my constituents and fail communities across Scotland here, here. by drastically cutting back the levels of support that were offered by the furlough and self-employed income support schemes. And it will only strengthen the desires of the people of Scotland to have the powers needed to support our economic recovery and avoid a lost generation. Yeah. Steve Brown. Yeah, yeah.